Danny, first and foremost, back your old stomping ground, West yeah. Ham. How was it for you today? Oh, great. It's a, it's, I had a lot of fond memories of here and it's great to catch up with some, some old buddies and, and, and see and see the progress we made. This, a lot of these players that played tonight were my last age group that I worked with, so it's it's great to reminisce, but you know, it's like once the whistle goes, um, those affinities go out the window. And looking back at the football, obviously a 2 2 draw for us tonight. Good opposition, a good performance for us as well. A fantastic opposition. Like you've got a wealth of experience out there to a certain degree, because even despite that they're young, one thing that David Moyes did last season is give these, these lads some opportunities in the first team. Obviously, Masawaka started. Um, it's a great challenge for our boys and they they had the ball for, for large periods and it was it's exactly what you want in pre-season. You want to work out, you want to have to be resilient, you want to have to defend at times um, for your lives. And I thought our boys did that well. And there was periods where I thought, you know what, we, we could really assert ourselves in, in the game. And no, it was, it was a great exercise for us and uh, I managed to get a result in the game. Which, you know, 21st of August come so it's about just getting results. Because obviously watching watching the game, you know, <coughs> we looked like the stronger side to begin with and obviously felt like a bit of a sucker punch from them, but that's the clinical side that you get playing these opposition and it's something you have to learn to deal with. Yeah, and that's that point. that's when we talk about so that's about a game the hot in Actually, are in one player, we actually were young enough to be able to go three sides. So it wasn't actually a mismatch in the sense of age group. It's not like we've got 25, 26, 27 year olds all over the pitch. That wealth of experience we've got young players. So it's a great chance for us to see how they'd compete at this level. Um, listen, they, they, they've got some tremendous talent and that, that showed in periods, and we had to be, be resolute and we were that. And like, like we said, we just ended the dressing room. Bottom line was we took the lead, and when we conceded, we we were very good at going no no more, and we shut up shop, and we made sure that we didn't lose the game. Because of course, going through it chance by chance, obviously we went one 0 down, but then quickly back we responded with a good hold up play from Mo, little flick on for Edsa, <laughs> and Toby's there to smash it into the near post. Great finish from Toby, and their keepers pulled off two or three unbelievable saves from set pieces. I mean, if we'd have gone in three or four one up at half time, on the on the actual flow of the game, we'd have been would have flattered us. But in the sense of chances. We had those chances and we, we, we'd like to think we'd take them when the season comes. But ironically, it was a set piece that got us out a second and training. So, no, Let's mention that a little bit more. Obviously, another goal for Kevin and another, another set piece goal. Is that something you obviously mentioned that you work on? You want to enforce this next season? Look, I think when you look at any major tournament, you look at most leagues, especially outside of the Premier League, a lot of games are decided, a one and lost, points are, points are dropped from set pieces. Um, we've got someone in our team now who's able to, to to be a threat and he's backed up by several others that now actually they seem to get an understanding of what we're trying to do. So we want to be a threat from set piece and every time we got one tonight I thought we were going to score, which is a bonus. Um, the, the key now is to take that into the, to the next two or three games to make sure we're spot on once the season starts. Because of course the back three did continue again. That's, you said that's something you want to continue doing, continue working on to next season. It looked well, it did well in times. But the person that we brought in, that, that three at the back suits us and we, we, we have got a lot of work to do. No, I'm, not, I'm not getting above our station, we've got a lot of work to do. There's, a, there's some positional understanding that needs to be refined, there's some distances that we need to work on, especially when we're under pressure because I thought we, we dropped off too deep at times. But uh, that's what pre is for. Obviously a few academy boys and a few trialists continue to make their appearances, albeit from no crowd today, but how do you feel they got on? Yeah, I mean, look, we've, we've, we've got to make sure, as a, a squad this season, we've got to make sure that we've got players that can come and affect the game. Um, or whether that's the young lads who are stepping up, um, we keep them around instead of setting them out on loan, or whether that's any of the child that's doing their bit. We're not in a hurry. We need to be patient. We need to get it right. We can't afford to get it wrong. In, in every sense of the word. We need to make sure that whoever's in the building, we know we can trust them that if we do need to make a change at any point of the game, that they can come and do the job, understand, understand their roles and responsibilities. So, no, look, they, I thought they gave a good account of themselves again tonight. And, we'll see that and of course, with the young, the smallest squad you're looking for to, yeah, to put together, obviously it needs to fit well with the team you're putting together and they need to join, fit well and gel in. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> it's all about relationships and, and us, it's round pegs, it round holes as much as possible. 
we, we, we're going to rely on an element of luck this year, I think, making sure we can try and keep as many people fit for as long as we possibly can. And, and I think that's probably most managers that, that you look at that. Um, but the players that we bring in there, they have to they have to fit in the dressing room with the characters that we've got, and it has to there has to be no disruptions. And because you know, it's like sometimes you get some players offered to you, you think, oh, I really like him, he's a tremendous talent. Then you kind of hear a little bit about their personality and stuff, and you think, is it worth the potential disruption of the dressing room for the sake of someone who might who might be good for you? I'd, I'd say the, the gamble's not probably worth it. And of course, obviously, tonight was a bit more of a technical challenge, but a physical challenge nonetheless. But next week, we look up to Slough, who gave us a good test last season and next season, or oh, this season rather, it should, should be the same sort of thing. Yeah, look, you, I mean, Bakes and that lot, they, they put, they've always put good teams together. Um, it, it's always been tough issues against them. And from our perspective, it's an operator's to try and learn what we want to do and be that little step ahead where we were tonight. When the physical challenge starts, was unbelievable because the pace they had in their team was frightening. You, you, you think you're showing the winger inside, so he, has, he can't outrun you, and then the right back's gone past, and he's, he's, it's like a 100 metre sprinter, and they had pace all over the park. But what was good for us tonight was, within reason, we handled it quite well. Um, and I don't, th I don't think we'll play against a team this season that has got as much pace as they have in as many positions. So it showed, it showed a, good, a good learning curve for our boys, and that when we need to get inside the pitch and handle it, we can. Are you in with a shot? More information in the description below. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe. Stop.